So your bourbon, this one right here, most distilleries, most craft distilleries, when they start up, they either source a bourbon or a whiskey, right? And they release it relatively young so that they have some product to put out there and start generating some income, even though they're making a gin or a rum or uh, and they're doing some other spirits. Um, or they put out a whiskey that's fairly young at 12 months or 18 months. Yeah. You guys chose not to do that. Correct. Right. <laughs> Tell me why and what the conversation was like, because this whiskey came out last year and it's Four years, Four years old. old. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's our first release. Yeah. So tell. So, I think, how did you land on? I think initially we well we knew we didn't want to source anything because from a branding perspective, it seems a little deceptive. Okay. There's a there, at some point you got to pull a bait and switch. Right. Um, and there's a lot of that out there, and we just as people that are deep into like, we just didn't want to do that. Um, and seeing how, you know craft whiskeys, at least in this state, were being kind of received, um, you know, in their early, in their early stages, um, yeah. we were trying to kind of help move away from that sure. and, and, you know, get people more on board with what we were doing. And um, so, yeah, we waited, waited a full four years, you know, it was originally going to be a two year straight bourbon. Mm -hmm. I was like, ah, it still tastes a little young. And, um, you know, then the pandemic hit for year three and it just ended up staying up until four and and um, yeah, so that's our four-year single barrel right there.